Gary went for a morning drive. It was a beautiful day and he wanted to get out of the house. For the past couple weeks, he had been cooped up in his home. He needed fresh air and he needed sunlight. Besides, driving always helped him relax and clear his mind. With the beautiful blue sky above, Gary set out on his miniature adventure. As he aimlessly drove, he let his mind wander. Gary didn't think about anything in particular. Random thoughts fluttered through his mind. He let them drift to wherever they took him. It was nice to relax and not have to think for a while. He continued to drive through the small town he lived in and took in all the sights. There wasn't much to see where he was from. It was a small town in the middle of nowhere. Most people driving around were just passing through. There wasn't much of a reason to stop. They didn't have any theme parks or local attractions. Despite this, the roads always seemed to be quite busy. But Gary didn't mind. He just enjoyed the drive. An image flashed into his mind of something he had never seen before. He could see it clear as day. It was a run-down neighborhood with boarded-up windows and peeling paint. Gary had to shake his head to stop the visions. It was like nothing he had ever experienced before. Whether it was a hallucination or a vision, he couldn't tell. But now, something else was happening that he couldn't explain. Like an animal on pure instinct, he started driving towards an unknown destination. It was the strangest sensation. There was no conscious decision on which way to drive. He turned a certain direction when he had a feeling, and he didn't know why he was doing it. Gary was certain he wouldn't be able to stop even if he wanted to. Part of him wanted to know where he was going. Then, he heard a strange whisper in his ear, like someone had leaned over from the passenger seat. He couldn't make it out the first time, but when it spoke again, he did. It was a low whisper, more like the hiss of a snake. Gary may have imagined it, but he thought he could feel hot breath on his ear. Arrive, the voice whispered. For some unknown reason, he wanted to find the source of the voice. The voice was calling out to him, and he needed to find out why. None of this was normal, but Gary was beyond questioning. He was being compelled to find this location and to find the voice. There was a purpose in his life now. He didn't know what that purpose was, but he was anxious to find out. Now, the drive couldn't have been any longer. He wanted to speed down the road towards his unknown destination. But getting pulled over by the police wouldn't get him there any faster. So he obeyed the traffic laws and continued on his way. He would be there soon enough. Then, all of his questions would be answered. Gary was nearing a part of town he rarely ever came to. Despite not knowing where he was, he navigated the streets with ease. It felt like he had grown up on these very streets. Every direction felt like a memory. He could see the decaying neighborhood in his mind's eye better now. Something about it looked and felt familiar. Like an extreme case of deja vu, he could remember the neighborhood but not remember from where. He hoped he could remember if he thought hard enough, but nothing came to him. Only the image and the feeling remained. Gary shrugged, hoping he would know sooner rather than later. The hot breath appeared on his ear again. When he turned to face it, there was nothing there. For the first time, fear welled up inside of Gary, but he didn't waver. He continued on his path, needing to know where it would lead him. When the hot breath returned, it came back with another word. Here, the voice said. Arrive here. So far, he could tell what the voice was telling him to do. It wanted him to arrive at the place he had seen. If only the voice had whispered, why? But he supposed that would ruin everything, including the mystery. The idea of not knowing why he was being summoned to this place was electrifying. He had never done anything like this before in his life, and it felt amazing. His very own adventure. Of course, no one would ever believe him if he told them, and anyone who might believe him would probably have him committed. He couldn't say he would blame them. Hearing voices, seeing hallucinations, driving to a place you've never seen before because the voices told you to. It all sounded crazy. This was the sanest he had ever felt. There was a certain clarity to his thoughts now. Something in his mind was becoming clearer the farther he drove. He didn't know what exactly that was, but he would know soon. He was sure of it. When he reached this mysterious neighborhood, he would know everything he needed to. The voice broke out over his ear again. This time, it whispered, With. Arrive. Here. With. Those three words were spelling out a sentence. What was he supposed to arrive with? Was he supposed to bring an offering of some type? He didn't know what to bring. 
He hoped the voice would tell him before he arrived. No part of him wanted to mess this up. He was close now. He could feel it. He had turned down a long stretch of road, which ended in a dead end. At the end of this road, he would find his destination. He was sure of it. The trees began to envelop the road around him, casting him in a shade. The hot breath returned to his ear. It let out sharp breaths for several seconds before disappearing. The voice was excited, he could tell. Gary was excited as well. Finally, he had reached his destination and would know just what was happening. All his questions would be answered. Fantasies of all sorts raced through his mind, everything from being granted godlike abilities to finding a lost secret which would make him rich. There was no telling what would come next. The dilapidated buildings could be seen now. They sat on the side of the road, neglected for years. He wondered about their story. Who had lived there and for how long? Why did they leave? Would he learn these secrets as well? He could only hope so. Before his eyes, a whole abandoned neighborhood appeared. There were windows boarded up, doors bolted shut, and paint peeling from the exteriors. It was the neighborhood from his vision. He was finally there. He had reached his destination. Though, he noticed the voice had become silent. He had expected it to speak again once he had arrived. It had been instructing him all this time, and now that he was there, it had nothing to say. It made no sense. Gary wondered if there was a delay. Whatever force had been leading him was busy or distracted. Now, with control back over his actions, Gary decided to keep driving around the neighborhood until something happened. He would take in the sights around him. Gary had never explored an abandoned location before, so this would be fun. He admired his surroundings, wondering about the story these buildings could tell. There was once a community here, and he tried to picture it. He imagined cars parked in the driveway as clothes hung up on clotheslines, and grills giving off a delicious aroma in backyards. Gary could almost see the kids chasing each other through the grass while playing tag. Then, he noticed he could hear it all around him as well. Somehow, the daydream of a community had come alive in his head. He could smell the air. He could hear the children. It was all real in his mind. Somewhere, the sweet smell of grilled steak hung in the air. He could even smell the chlorine of the pool. As he drove around, he wondered if these were in his mind or if they were somehow a memory. It all seemed too familiar to merely be a hallucination. Gary could have sworn he had been here before. This sight, these sounds, everything about this seemed familiar. But he had never lived here before. He was sure of it. Like a brick wall, the memory slammed into him. He almost passed out of the vivid recollection of the memory now. He had lived here many years ago. This place had been his home. The image in his mind wasn't a conjured up one, but something he had experienced long ago. But now, a more disturbing image came to mind. Images of blood and dead bodies flashed to his mind. There were dismembered body parts strewn about living rooms. People cried as they begged for their lives. A plague had ripped through this community years ago. Gary had been that plague. He had ripped through the neighborhood at night, killing as many people as he could before vanishing altogether. Those who had survived fled the day after. With dozens of their neighbors hacked up in the middle of the night, it seemed Satan himself had made residence on the block. Gary brought the car to a stop and stared for a moment. He could remember it all now, the coppery smell of the blood as he murdered anyone he could. Somehow, the memories had become lost to him, but now they poured like a river. He had forgotten all about the hot breath when it all of a sudden boomed in his ear yelling, US! Arrive here with us. Sitting next to him, he saw a spirit form. He remembered the face clearly as one of the women he had hacked up that night. She stared at him with vengeance in her eyes. More spirits started to arrive inside the car and all around it. At that moment, he realized why he had been called back. His victims were angry, and they wanted their revenge.